They call it the first stereo of its kind. The original prototype was stolen from the CES floor back in January 2017. The possible motivation? Corporate espionage. This intro is proof that dramatic background music will grab people's attention. The unique VRN DD7HB is a brand new doubled in stereo from Soundstream, and it's going to cause major problems for popular manufacturers. Why, you ask? Because it's the first car stereo with dual 7 inch displays, both of which are SmartSense glass panel capacitive touchscreens. Yes, you heard me, both are capacitive. Usually, you have to pay top dollar for a flagship model just to get one capacitive touchscreen, but this baby retails for about $450, and it has two. Capacitive screens are comparable to smartphone screens. They're incredibly responsive and feel great to the touch. When in dual screen mode, the GPS takes over the top screen and the bottom screen retains all audio and video sources and radio settings. The VRN has built-in GPS turn-by-turn -turn navigation, which is powered by iGo Primo. It's really simple to use, has 17 million points of interest, lane departure guidance, plus search for destinations, get speed limit warnings and fuel estimates. The top screen also offers MHL Android Phone Link. This enables complete screen mirroring of select MHL compatible Android smartphones and tablets. It mirrors the device to the screen via only a USB and a Bluetooth connection. Besides Bluetooth calling, those are the only two functions available on the top screen, unless you're into the unit converter and clothing size table. If you're not using the top screen or just want one screen at the moment, simply close it. Navigating through the menus was relatively easy and the design wasn't overbearing. Soundstream says the user interface was designed to include solutions to reduce driver distraction and improve operator awareness. Soundstream, you built a radio with two screens, what the hell are you talking about? Some of you might think this radio is exorbitant and unnecessary. Why make a radio with two screens? Because f you, that's why. Both screens can be adjusted, the top manually and the bottom with the tilt button. The bottom screen is home to all the other features. FM AM tuner, disc for CDs and DVDs, USB for audio, video and image files, AV inputs, and backup camera. I was able to mirror my iPhone to the radio using the Bueller BU HDMI V. Click up top in the cart to view our video on that link in the bio also. Before we go any further, it's important to note that although your vehicle may be compatible with and fit a double DIN radio, it may not fit one with dual screens like the VRN. Always consider your dash so that it won't interfere with the top screen or movement of the bottom one. As you guys know, we don't always take manufacturer's word in car audio. So we took it upon ourselves to test the outputs of the radio for output voltage and flat frequency response. The unit measured completely flat in its frequency response to the spec of plus or minus three decibels. However, in our test, our meter was set to 250 milliseconds. Had this been set to 1000 milliseconds, it's likely this would have tested in the plus or minus one decibel. Another test was to check for clipping on the RCAs. They claim the outputs are four volts, so we played a 60 hertz test tone and checked the output voltage. In our test, 37 was the max unclipped volume. This unit clips hard after 38. Our experiment involved testing a single RCA only, and we got 4.03 volts, right on the money of what they say. Then we tested the output of the internal amplifier. 31 was our max volume before clipping on the internal amp with one speaker driven and we got roughly 8.9 volts or roughly 20 watts. Mind you, this output will go down when driving four speakers. All of our testing was done with 13.4 volts. It's nice to see some accurate ratings from smaller manufacturers. Its Bluetooth 4.0 allows you to stream music and make and receive phone calls. With enhanced data rate, it improves clarity and reduces distortion. And there is not an external microphone. The radio features a built-in front panel Bluetooth microphone. Using USB drives or CDs and even micro SD cards, the radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it plays AVI, MPEG-4, and H.264 files. You can also upload and view JPEG images. Diverse connections in the back include two video outputs, backup camera, AV inputs, two sets of 4-volt preamp outputs for front and rear speakers, plus two subwoofer preamp outputs, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, GPS sensor, 
radio antenna, and USB. The radio comes with a wiring harness, GPS sensor, and wireless remote control. That's it on the Soundstream VRNDD7HB. Be sure to get all of your car audio and video gear with us at qualitymobilevideo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Click that like button, join the conversation below, and follow us on Instagram at Quality Mobile Video. Thanks for watching.